All right, so Amanda Bynes is in the news. We covered this a little bit a couple of months ago when she got out of her conservatorship, but she was found roaming around the streets of Los Angeles naked and alone on Sunday. And it's interesting because oh. originally she was supposed to be at 90s Con, and they were like, she canceled last minute. What's going on? Well, this is what happened. She was she was found walking around the streets of L.A., and she was put on a psych hold uh, at a local hospital. Uh, but her parents have decided to not seek further conservatorship. I approve. Uh, figure out what's going on. They said that she was like, if she's if this is drugs, you don't go immediately to conservatorship. If she's if she's using again, you have to get her into rehab and get her clean. We obviously are those things don't, mutually no. exclusive. What do you mean? I mean, her going to rehab and being under conservatorship. No, no, she can still go to. I mean, likely yeah, what's going so. on. Likely what's going on right now is she's uh, if she's overusing of any sort. And I don't know what if that's the case here. I'm just saying there is a reason somebody whether whether she's off psych meds. I don't know. I don't know her medical history. I don't know if she's taking psych meds. But if she's off off them, then she needs can to. You screen there you go, funny. Carter. Can you? Can you, Carter? This is like a do it again. part of the song. I can't do it over myself. Oh, is that a different one? That's the one from last week. It's the one from last week. Ah, yeah. But with, with, there was no scream. So is so that the whole minus Phil? Uh, say it was again? Phil Never at the mind. beginning and then you. Okay. Phil at the beginning and then I you. It. So the hold is 72 hours. I'm going to let you in on, on a, a personal story. I have been on a 72 hour cycle. Uh, so I was, have I. I was let go after 24 hours. Um, mine was for drugs back in, back in the day. So look, you, I, for her, it can be a cry for help and that's the institutional step that needs to be taken to get her into the help she needs to get like a lot of times if you need help really badly institutional help whether that be from a rehabilitation facility or a mental health facility one of the hardest parts is just like getting through the bureaucracy to get to one of these places and mm -hmm. get help even with money that can be difficult mm -hmm. given you know the wait lists on places like this and a lot of times people will kind of get frustrated and what coincides for me was essentially close to what uh, would have been an overdose and then they you you get uh admitted for acting erratic and then they decide what to go from there. So they put you in a cycle because they don't know what the problem is. They don't know, are, are you mentally ill? Are you having a psychotic break? Or are you just on drugs? They can run a tox screen, but that takes time to get through. Right. So right now they have her on a 72 hour psych hold and she admits, she talks about how like she understands that she needs to get help right now. Uh, why does Hollywood, like d does anybody else just feel like Hollywood does this to people? Well, like, it just sucks how Hollywood it's it's victims you know like i don't think it's unreasonable to think that hollywood is in large part to blame yeah. for her mental state right now yeah. um, maybe she would have suffered from a mental health problem if she had never been in hollywood in the first place you can say that but you can't divorce the effects of being a child star from Correct. The, the current state she is in, it like necessarily was exacerbated by that. And I know she had like a ton of body image, uh, it just self image problems from being captured by the paparazzi all the time in photos. She at one point, like I remember she like was living in a hotel for a while and blacked out the windows with like paint and tape. She dropped something out the window too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that in New York. Yeah. Yeah. And then a couple months ago, she and her like fiance had yeah. that big dis domestic dispute. Yes. Yeah. I think I, I'm not surprised your parents aren't seeking another conservatorship. Part of it is like conservatorships are not supposed to last forever. Yeah. And if she's having a, a mental uh, issue, if there's something going on, she is still ultimately responsible for the consequences and her treatment uh, unless she is deemed unfit. Like, how would you know that at this point? Uh, I feel like Amanda Bynes is this weird combination or maybe just unlucky combination of someone who is free... Uh, she she is probably prone to psychological issues. Like I wouldn't be surprised if there's some sort of genetic or other you know other link to uh, polarism or any kind of uh, genetic predisposure to yeah something in her family history and post traumatic stress from whatever I has happened because of Dan probably Schneider in Hollywood compounded because of the environment she ends. Yeah. She hasn't been acting in a really long time, right. and she has been getting treatment. Or an extremely, I mean, like, what we want to say a decade, right? Yeah, yeah I, I mean, the I last think movie she, she was in was like 10 years I think ago. It was easy A. She, like, yeah, announced she it. was going to retire, then she made that movie, then she went back to retirement. She 
it was under the conservatorship for years. I mean, I think it has been a decade of her, everyone kind of acknowledging that she is not a stable person mm -hmm. and she has not been working in Hollywood. So, I think she's bipolar. Yeah, I think there's yeah. legitimately something. And, you know, they say certain personality types are drawn to certain industries. Yeah. I mean, she's a child star, so her parents probably put her in. But I wouldn't be surprised if similarly... And Hollywood is awful for kids and parents' relationships. I was just mm -hmm. reading an article earlier today. Do you guys know who Jewel is? The singer Jewel? Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit before... You do? Okay. I think I've uh, heard of she, it. My mom loved Jewel. Her mom embezzled $100 million from mm -hmm. her. Like, uh, wow. Cole Sprouse just did this interview yeah. where he was saying, oh, I think... We, our parents put us an acting to fill my mom's uh, like narcissistic desires. Yeah. So anyone, it doesn't have to be the child star themselves, can be who is prone to sort of personality issues might be drawn to a career where they potentially feel as though they are getting fame or they are yeah. you know influence over someone who's Jeanette McCurdy famous. literally wrote a book called I'm Glad My Mom Died. Mm -hmm. yeah. and I heard Dan, the same kind of thing about Macaulay Schneider's Culkin. Culkin. Yeah. All, da all I mean, Dan and, Schneider uh, and Nickelodeon. Dan Schneider was yep. involved yep. in both of these young women's lives. Um, and I doubt that it was a positive relationship or influence. But I will say, like, it has been a long time since she has been in Hollywood. And while the effects of whatever she experienced are obviously something that she'll live with for her whole life, it seems like at this point, whatever kind of intervention she's been through is not successfully working, right? Like, there was a moment when her parents were like, she has our support, she's leaving conservatorship, and we we're all like, oh, cool. Like, contrast this with Britney. Something really seems positive. Mm -hmm. yeah. But... She was apparently in a very chaotic relationship. You know, it seems like that is not there is there is something at play that maybe we're 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 unable to acknowledge from the outside. You yeah. know? Yeah. And I think like this is new historically and we're like doing it right now, but seeing yourself on a video I think can be like really uh like mind boggling. In what way? In a way, like she, I think she's actually commented on this before, but like being in She's the Man, okay, where she like for most of the movie is presenting as a boy, okay, uh, which is part of the plot. It like really messed up her self image um, and like her identity. Oh, you, oh, you think that that and role me messed her up? Even uh, formerly Ellen Page, now Elliot Page, talked about the effect of like you know seeing oneself on camera as. Uh, pregnant and then also like doing all of these red carpet appearances where you have to appear like hyper feminine and all With of this dress, stuff. You know, yeah. It can really leave uh, an impact on someone, like a negative impact on someone to see themselves in a certain way and be cemented in millions of people's minds that way. Yeah. And they'll never see you a different way than how they saw you for the first time. It's like the, the Maitland Ward the creepy stuff with Maitland Ward. She was on Boy Meets World. Yes. And she says that the number one, she does, she, she went from Boy Meets World to porn. Wait, and she what? said, uh, and she, she went from Hollywood to porn and said the number one thing that she gets requests for on her OnlyFans is to do stuff from Boy, like is to reenact stuff from Boy Meets World. That's not that's, Topanga, is it? No. no. But that's how it? people know her. Right? That's what I'm saying. But I was saying like that's, uh, people find, you're always going to be, they're always they going to saw. She will always be that character to those people. Uh, Topanga I mean, will always be Topanga to people. Wait, That's, which character? I don't from, remember. I don't okay. remember the character. I mean, name, this but, is uh, why we get that pipeline of like Disney nice girl to like I'm trying to be a bad pop star. And right? I Isn't that what Amanda whatever. Bynes is trying to do right now? Actually, I, I think, think she's past music. that point. Right? No. Like. I don't no, think last time she wanted working. to be like a manicurist or something. Oh, I didn't. Uh, know that. She was yeah. living in like a group home and everything. I think, you know, we saw this with Miley Cyrus, right? She she leaves Hannah Montana and she's putting out music and she's getting crazier and she goes through her bleach blonde twerking era. And we saw this with Lindsay Lohan, Lindsay Lohan. It's almost time. Miley Cyrus came out on top every time. Now, but there was a moment there where it was like I don't know, she Lindsay was popular. Lohan's about to have her first kid. Yeah, after years of like Go, trying bro. to get over this like yeah. party girl cocaine addict vibe. I mean, well, you know, it was it was the early two thousands. It was a vibe. Demi Lovato a, is similar. She was on the Disney pipeline and had like a I'm going to be a singer and then has never has never really been able to get over the rebellious streak that comes with this post child star teendom or young adulthood. But I think with Amanda Bynes. It's it's so much past that, right? Like it really. Seems oh yeah, like, no. Hers is like the other ones. It feels like corporatized and done on yeah. purpose to sell records. Hers, especially is, Miley. Yes. Miley's bad girl yeah. phase was yeah. marketing from top, top to bottom. To bottom. Even, Absolutely. Even she was like one of the earliest examples of pronouns and like I'm I'm changing my sexuality and how did I did she change her pronouns? Yeah, she did. Miley? She was one of the earlier examples of of doing what? that. To they yeah. them. 
Uh, you know, she she uh, she changed her sexuality in uh, 2018. I'd have to go look up the article. She was like fluid or yeah, something. Yeah, she went gender fluid in 2018 or 2019 or something That's like wild. that. Right after uh, the breakup right. or whatever. Now Demi so, Lovato has done the same thing. Yes. But it's weird who escapes it. Like, when I think about it, Selena Gomez... Yeah. basically escaped it i don't know why but she did and then there's like others like vanessa hudgens basically fine she's totally functional um hey, hillary duff. taylor swift even i know she wasn't like on tv or movies or anything hillary but, duff once i mean again and I'll, hillary duff but her parents were yeah. involved in the and industry but my, but hillary actually, duff uh, did not really escape right hillary duff was dating a 23 year old when she was 16 she yeah, but she's sketchy right, yeah. things Weird happen, relationship. But, but, uh, and but, she's been divorced. I mean, like she is now in a positive place, the same way we might say with Lindsay Lohan. But I think well, some of the differences between like Taylor Swift, whose family was deeply involved in her career, and she yeah. wasn't actually pretending to be a different character. Her dad was a producer. Her right? career is all, totally based around her ability to write music and you know perform. Mm -hmm. Right with Elon as, Musk as herself. Yeah. Whereas like child stars, specifically actors, have that early confusion of you're portraying someone else. I mean, not everyone has that relationship. I think what's challenging about Amanda Bynes situation is that it is clearly a very serious mental health issue at play that doesn't seem to correspond with this rebel, like uh, perfect Disney or Nickelodeon or whatever childhood to rebellion to stable stardom, right? Yeah. Like that's basically what Miley Cyrus did. That's essentially what Demi Lovato did, a little more turbulent there. Uh, she didn't have the same rebellious phase. She just suddenly was like, I'm actually not gonna act anymore. Mm -hmm. And then things got worse and worse and worse. Like if she was, if you told me she was prone to schizophrenia, right? Like Hollywood can't really manage some things. They can't make her PR enough. Whereas like uh, narcissistic personalities, addictive personalities, like they can manage that. Some things are beyond even the reach of a PR agent. Do you think that we're going to see analogs to this with influencers as influencers become more and more famous at earlier ages? Didn't we cover a girl on here who like live streamed herself like kind of having a mental breakdown? And it was like oh, some yeah. influencer. No, I remember that. The TikTok one. Oh yeah, it was uh, Gabby Hanna. Yeah, yeah so mm -hmm. technically you've already gotten there. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, kids who are raised on their parents' YouTube channels, that's- Oh yeah, I, I was talking about Lawsuits that on Twitter with someone. Incoming. I was talking with someone on Twitter recently. Someone, like, family, There's nothing creepier than, than family YouTube channels. Daddy05, yeah. the most infamous example. That's gonna be a disaster to watch in the future as, they, as these kids get older. Um, I just- yeah, uh, I, Do you guys think that Amanda Bynes is like in a financially stable position after her career or like- what do she's, you guys think? She's probably got residuals on stuff. Forever? Probably. It's, and her yeah. parents good. managed her finances for yeah. so long while she was in a conservatorship. Not I Jewel. My cynical, not like Jewel's mom. My cynical view is like, maybe she's not being put in a conservatorship again, because unlike Britney, she's not able yeah. to bring in revenue for her parents the way that... Right. But her parents well, I think Britney kept working and working and working. Alternatively, her parents know that if they were like, oh, we're putting her back in conservatorship, even if they're loving and well-intended, the media will freak out because conservatorship... The word is like cursed now. Right, like you can't put Britney back in one either, and she does not seem to be doing that well, no. right? I mean, I think that conservatorships are tricky, and they're supposed to be for a limited time. I know that there are people who need them uh, in order to be protected and taken care of. Well, she but, did, like they're saying that she did flag down the car and ask for help. So she knows she needs help. Mm -hmm. uh, if whatever is going on with her, I hope that she gets the help she needs. Cause it's like when you watch people, as somebody who's been through something like that, as anyone who's been through mm -hmm. something like that can attest, like you hate to see someone go through something like this, especially when they're not out. Like we talk a lot about a lot of these celebrities who seem to be out to like subvert culture and they have really, really suspect intentions. And I don't get that impact, that idea from any of the girl, like a lot of the girls that are going through stuff like this, they're just broken. Totally. And that's very sad. I hope that she lives. Like there are so many ways that she's like, could endanger her life this way. Yeah. Um, if she's in a very disjointed state of mind, like there's this, a uh, famous case of a woman named Elisa Lam. Uh, oh, yeah. You, yeah, you've heard of, probably. All about it. She, and she was, like, found in this hotel's water tank on the roof of, of her hotel uh, naked. And actually, people found out because, like, the water started looking weird. And yeah. It, yeah. Okay. But she, like, died in there. And people thought, like, it actually... Some people thought it was supernatural. Some people thought that it was actually a mental health thing because... She had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder and was on antipsychotic medication, 
having withdrawals for that med medication like can make someone feel like the their skin is to. burning up. Yeah. So she might have like felt like she was dying and needed to like cool her body down and oh, just yeah. jumped in the water tank. There's a uh, you take enough of any yeah like uh, I've you take enough uppers and your your body feels like it's on fire. That is that is a thing. I thought happens. she was like off her meds though. Yeah, I think she was off the meds and then one of the side effects of that was like Maybe, that yeah. feeling. But then people also thought it could have been related to to like supernatural stuff just because uh they were like how did she even have the strength to right get it was kind of weird was, like she was able to get in there by herself and the height shut of it, it and yeah. the strength that yeah. it would take to shut the top like, there's the a lot of, of weird it. stuff we're kind of getting that. off topic yeah right. but i, I don't want to do that. it just reminded me of that like i just hope that she is like physically safe you know we, you're allowed to go off topic here we can talk about whatever the hell we want this, the is show is all this, about. this is our podcast we can talk about whatever the hell we want Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.